How's it going again, you guys? So, I, again, just recently had gone to my FFL dealer, and man, do I got something cool to show you guys. Alright, let's get this started. I'll kind of just be doing a little bit of a quick overview and showing you guys some of the stuff that this firearm comes with. So, here we have it. The Mark Lamar set me L and now we'll go ahead and open the box you got your foam oh man I kind of wanted to go over this a little bit because I know there's other reviews but man is there some cool stuff in this book I'll just kind of try to flip through the pages somewhat quick but get it good enough that if you guys want to take a peek you guys could pause the video because there's a lot a lot of really cool historical stuff about the set meal in this book and how it was created by the germans for the the spain for in spain they used it a lot so just kind of goes over like the field material and how it got created and the origins and then start getting into how to use the ammunition what type of ammunition it calls for it does say to use 62 grain 556 or 223 to break it in as a one and seven inch one and seven barrel twist sorry about that uh, yeah, I'll keep going. Magazines. Tell us about the magazines, because the Set Me L magazines will not work in this. They actually did a little tinkering and changed it, so you can use modern Stanag AR-15 or M-16 mags. So, some of them will and won't work from what I've heard. Over here we got the parts identification, and... How to load your set meal. We got the safety, how to rack the bolt, and pretty much hit the bolt hold open, how to insert your magazines, the firing of the set meal, placing the rifle on safe, sharply pull bolt handle to the rear. Locking the bolt to the rear and using the bolt hold open. Removing the butt, butt stock pins. Starting that for disassembly. There's a little bit more. And I'll try to just kind of continue to flip through this somewhat quickly so we could get to the firearm itself. But if you guys want to pause and kind of take a little peek as far as what's in the pamphlet that it comes with. It's really cool. I've never actually gotten anything with any of the guns that I own that was this detailed and in-depth. And then you start to go into the, the differences, the characteristic differences between the Set L and the LC. I know these ones might be a little hard. For you guys to see, but I just want everyone to be able to see every page of this thing because, man, the detail of stuff that they get into. This is unlike anything else that I've seen come with, like, any of my other firearms. So, I personally thought it was really cool just as a historical piece of reference stuff. And yeah, that's it as far as the pamphlet. So, alright, we'll get to this now. Alright, so in your box comes your set me L. And then comes with one Stan Ag mag. We'll go ahead and remove this. I have safety checked it about five times, so I know that's clear. So, what else do you get? You get 
this little bottle of True Blue lubricant, which is also nice because a lot of firearms don't come with this. You have to buy it yourself. So it is really nice of Atlantic to include this or Mal Mal Mark Lamar to include this in with the firearm. You, of course, get your lock and key so you could keep it safe. The important break in notice roller locking guns are programmed for a specific power range of ammunition. Due to the vast differences in 556 and 223 that are commercially available, we recommend that you break your set me in with set me L in with good quality 62 grain ammunition. As close to military spec as possible, like M855. Using light load ammunition will lead to feeding and ejection problems until the rifle is fully broken in. 55 grain 556 and 223 and less loaded to military specs may not have significant power to reliably feed and extract at first. And then you get a nice Atlantic Firearms chamber flag, which is nice because those are always handy for going to the range. And and here is your warranty card. So, all right, now on to the firearm. So, all right, we'll go ahead and snag the mag out. It does come with one OK Industries Stan Ag mag. It is a I got a thirty round magazine because. I live in a compliant state. So, alright, this is it. You get the butt stock for your disassembly pins to go into. We'll kind of go over the rear sight. It does have a 200 and 400 yard aperture. So, this is the bolt hold open, which I'll show you in a bit magazine releases right here I can use either my index or middle finger to release here's your standard set me hand guards which I know that these are new the furniture on it is new Malcolm Orr decided that they were gonna make new furniture for it because I guess some of the stuff that was coming in on these was degrading and they figured that they'd upgrade to something a new, little newer. You got your heat shield, your grenade attachment along with the bayonet lug right there and mine did come with the standard birdcage, birdcage flash hider. So here's your front sight and safe now that's the one thing I have had to play with this just to get it loose it is extremely tight like you guys can see me yeah <laughs> You got your charging handle here, which flips down. And then we'll go ahead and you gotta kinda, I've learned to pinch it like this and then use your finger and you can get the bolt hold open. So we'll go ahead, the bolt release is on this side. So I'll go ahead and push it from that side so you guys could see. But man, dude, this thing is so nice. I know the magazine well is a little stiff. My magazines go in good, but they are good. Definitely got pull them out at this point. So, I mean, man, this is another nice firearm from Malcolmore, Malcolmar, and Atlantic Firearms. It's definitely nice to have a piece of history that I'll get to play with, let alone hand down to my kids one day. So we'll go ahead, I'll get that off, 
We'll double check, make sure it's clear, even though I've done it. All right. And that is, now when you pull the charging handle back, it is pretty smooth. At first it was a little stiff, but mine's starting to loosen up over time. Now we'll go ahead, we'll do trigger test. You do hit that, have a little bit of a take up, and then you hit a wall. And then is a little stiff of a trigger, but then there's your release. So it's really not too bad. I mean, I don't mind it as far as the trigger pull. It definitely is probably a heavy trigger pull compared to your normal AR triggers. But man, what an awesome piece of history. I really am looking forward to taking this out to the range. Hopefully this weekend because my range is still closed. That's why I haven't gotten to make any <clears throat> decent videos for you guys that do watch. So I'm really hoping that it'll be opened up. Looking at this, I know one of the things that I did forget to talk about was I did get the railed set me out. They do come railed and without the rail. The welds, as you can see, are really nice they don't look all choppy or anything like that so man overall i'm extremely pleased with my purchase from atlantic firearms i don't know how but literally i ordered it and it was here next day so i had extreme luck with that i do have a bayonet and a sling coming for this that are both military surplus so I'll definitely make another video showing you guys that. I have some other goodies coming today as well. I have a Primary Arms 3X556 scope coming for this. So, man, this is going to be a lot of fun to take out and especially get to experience sharing this with my wife and my kids at some point. So, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys another overview of one of the firearms I purchased and I definitely will be making some range videos with this so I hope you guys have a great day and thank you again for watching my videos I always appreciate it you guys stay safe and have a great day